to my channel. Today I have a winter essentials video for you today. I'm really excited to share with you some of my favorite products for the winter time in the Midwest here. Oh my gosh, it gets really, really, really cold. Um, like today, for example, it's about negative something and it's super blustery and snowy and blizzardy and I just want to lay inside and not do anything today. Um, so I have some of my essentials that I feel like for the winter time are just necessities, necessities in life. And I think they're really good products. Somewhere. I have a lot of skincare obviously because my skin needs a lot of extra attention and I do have some makeup products and yeah, let's go ahead and get into my winter essentials. The first essential is right behind me right here. And that is the Marshmallow Fireside candle. I absolutely love this candle. It is so good. It smells just like warm vanilla goodness. I just absolutely love it. It's my favorite after holiday time candle. I really love all the, you know, fresh balsam, like evergreen scents during the winter time that smells like a Christmas tree. But then after the holiday times, I like to go with a much warmer, um, kind of sweeter scent. So this one is definitely a great one for the winter time. The first product I actually have besides my candle, um, I actually stole from my mother because she actually recommended it to me and we both get this every single winter. We get this really, really itchy, dry, like bumpy skin on our legs and it's usually behind our knees and on our shins. I don't know why we get it. I don't know if you get it, but we get it and it drives us nuts. We can't sleep. It itches all night. It's just awful. So she recommended to me this, and this is the Aveeno Active Naturals. This is the Skin Relief 24 Hour Moisturizing Lotion. And this stuff is awesome. I really, really suggest if you have the same problems as me and my mother do, this is a great moisturizer. Um, it just really relieves itchiness. It is really good for sensitive skin. I don't know if it's eczema or what, um, but it is unbearable. Um, so this is a really, really big help in that. It just is fragrance free. It's just a really good moisturizer and I just really like it. It definitely works. So this is definitely a winter essential. The next product comes as no surprise to you all. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This is the best, best moisturizer ever. I absolutely love it. It is so lightweight. It's again for that sensitive skin. In the winter time, I need extra moisture, but I don't really want to feel like I'm piling on a greasy ball on top of my face still. I want it to be good for my sensitive skin. I'm going outside, it's really dry, and I can get um, some red little bumps just because of the cold. Um, so this helps so much. And it's meant for high um, parched skin and like eczema and things like that. So if you have any irritation on your skin, you can use this basically anywhere, but I love using it as a moisturizer. Even under my makeup, it just lays so nicely. I cannot say enough good things about it. I talk about it in like every video, but this is just the best moisturizer and I highly suggest it. It's definitely a winter essential. Now there are so many products I could recommend to you from this lovely company, but this is a really, really good product that I think is definitely a great staple in my um, skincare routine for the winter time. And that is the Michael Todd True Organics. This is the Hydration Boost Facial Serum. And this is like a drink of water for your skin. If you are just feeling extra parched, extra dry, this is the boost that you need for your skin. It is so good. I put it on first before my moisturizer and it just really sinks into my skin. It completely hydrates. I usually do this at night. I don't put it under my makeup, um, but I do it at night and then the next morning my skin is like renewed. It feels so much better. It doesn't feel so dry and cracked and gross. So I love this product. It's absolutely amazing. And yeah, I could recommend, like I said, a million great products for the winter time from Michael Todd, but this one is definitely in an essential. The next product that is an absolute essential in my life, oh my gosh, if I did not have this, 
my lips would be very very sad and there would be no lip color on my lips right now because it could not take it um, this is the lush popcorn lip scrub um, lip scrubs are absolutely essential in the winter time they are so good they just really get off the extra dead skin my lips get so flaky especially right now for some reason my lips are so flaky and dry I could put the thickest Vaseline on and nothing will make it hydrated um, so this kind of helps just to kind of scrub away all that flakiness and dead skin I know that is gross but it's a really really good product and you could totally make your own lip scrub you don't even need to go buy a nice little lush one but they are just an essential for me in the winter because those lips man I need I need some hydration in my lips another product that I have discovered this year and I literally it's been by my side like all day all night um, this is the first aid beauty ultra repair lip therapy um, it's like a thick Vaseline that's not greasy. It's so lightweight feeling, but it hydrates really, really deep into your lips. And I just feel like it helps my lips just go through the day. Um, I literally slept this on all day long. It's been a great, great product. Um, like I said, it doesn't have Vaseline, can get kind of greasy and kind of gross looking. This is just a nice kind of balmy, thick, texture I don't really know how to explain it it's not a petroleum because it's petroleum free but it's just a weird texture that really just goes on your lips and deeply deeply hydrates so I love this stuff I cannot live without it it is definitely an essential okay let's talk about some makeup products why don't we the first thing comes as no surprise this is the Mac fix plus and I cannot live without this in especially January now and into February my makeup needs this after the end um, and before I put on my makeup I will spritz this all over my face before and after I do my makeup it just is so hydrating it feels so good when you put it on um, and nowadays like my skin is dry and it whenever I put makeup on it doesn't look right when I don't use this so I have to use this every single day I love it. It's definitely an essential. The next product is such an essential. I cannot live without it and my makeup would not look great without it. And this is the Jouer Luminizing Moisture Tint. And I love this stuff. It's a great, great moisturizer. It has a little bit of a tint. It's super lightweight. It l literally makes your just skin glow underneath. Um, you can wear this alone or under a foundation, either way you'd like. It's very light coverage, so if you want a really, really light coverage day, you can wear it alone. But I like wearing it with a foundation on top, but it's just super lightweight. It moisturizes so well, and it feels great on the skin, and it lasts a really good t um, amount of time, too. So I love this stuff cannot live without it and my makeup would not look good without it either. The next winter essential is something that I rarely talk about but I love pulling this out in the winter time. It's just a beautiful color. It's honestly more of a fall color but I love pulling it out in the winter because it just really makes my eyes pop. I have really fair skin right now and I just really feel like it's a great color for my skin tone. And that is the eyeshadow in um, Wine by Bobbi Brown and it's one of their rich eye colors. It's a beautiful just deep burgundy shade. It's so pretty. I love it in the crease. I love it all over the lid. I wear it all the time. It's just a really pretty soft matte burgundy shade. I absolutely I just think it's so pretty. Oh, I love it. And I love, again, pulling it out in the winter time. I just feel like it makes my skin tone look a little better, a little more alive, and I love wearing this on my eyes. The next thing I have to show you is a blush, and this is my favorite blush of all time in the winter time, and that is Max Tenderling. And ooh, there's a really bad glare. So there it is right there. It doesn't look very pretty in the pan, but it looks so beautiful on the cheeks. It's just just a really soft pinky nude color if you have deeper skin you won't like this because it really just won't show up um, it barely so shows up as a swatch but it's just a really pretty pinky nude color and it just gives you a really soft 
flushed look. Um, it's not too deep. A lot of my deeper kind of crazy blushes I like to wear when I have a little bit more color. Um, but now that I'm super, super pale, I don't want to wear like a really, really bold cheek. So I tend to go towards this as like an everyday blush. So I love this one. Max Tenderling is just gorgeous for the winter. All right, and then the last product is a favorite product all year round, but I tend to grab these more in the winter time because my skin is a little dull and lackluster and it needs just a little bit of something on there. And this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. And it is just a really, really, really crazy highlight. Um, it's pretty intense, I would have to say, um, but if you use a really light hand, or like a duo fiber brush and just kind of pat it on. It gives the most beautiful luminous glow to your cheeks. You look alive, you look like you have glowing skin, even though you might have really, really dull, dry skin like me. Um, so this is just a great product. I absolutely love it. And it's popular here on YouTube for a reason. I definitely suggest looking into it. If you haven't, you need it. Okay, so that is it for my winter essentials. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any winter essentials or anything that is hydrating or really good in the winter time, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you love because I'm always looking for new products. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.